there, Goldie. Bill Bergen isn't home, <laughs> even if it isn't easy for him. I love it up there. I love being there. Bergen lost the lower part of his leg years ago while on the job as an L.A. police officer. His latest confrontation happened three miles behind this gated trail near Lake Como, clearly labeled for non-motorized use only. I think he was probably doing about 40 miles an hour. Came around the corner and hit me, and something, I think maybe my crutch, caught on the, on the ATV, and it snapped me around by my arm and pulled me straight, straight off the ground. The collision left him with a torn rotator cuff that still needs surgery. And I was on the ground uh, actually screaming because I was in so much pain. And the guy just looked over his shoulder and kept right on going. Since license plates are not required, Bergen never identified the rider. And his frustration only builds when he sees more evidence of off-roaders going where they shouldn't. There's a group of people up here that just have this attitude that I can go wherever I damn well please. Just west of Missoula, conflicts of another kind. With nearby state land closed after off-roaders illegally used it, problems shifted to a popular fishing access site above the Clark Fork River. This was once open, yeah. Probably three, four years ago, we made it so that uh, you cannot use off-road vehicles in, uh, in or on our property out here at Deep Creek. We just had uh, too many problems with them tearing up our hills and causing some erosion. Even during my short time there, a dirt bike rider ignored clearly posted signs and illegally cut through the day use area. Shot eventually caught and sighted him. As for Bergen, he now takes precautions to protect himself on the trail. I kind of think that the Forest Service is looking the other way. Not even a life-threatening collision keeps him from what he loves, but it did change his attitude. It soured my taste about people that ride ATVs and snowmobiles. So I was brought up with the attitude of, of leave no trace, and I think that's dead now.